Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you so much for joining us for our Thursday weather update for December the 15th, the halfway mark of the month. Only a couple weeks left and we're into 2023. Well, La Nina is still with us and if you're in New Zealand, there's no doubt about it. We've got lots of humid weather moving down across the country, producing drizzle patches, downpours and dry spells and that weather is uh, pushing right down from Northland to Southland at the moment. Over in Australia the windier cooler southerly is with you but there is that big high pressure zone trying to move in. And up in the tropics not a lot going on, uh, pretty settled really in Fiji with a light southerly flow, a northerly around Samoa and around the Cook Islands you've got a nor'easter and a couple of showers so nothing too dramatic up in the tropics. But let's take a look at the forecast and again we're going to touch on Christmas Day as well. But we kick off here with the Friday forecast and again around the North Island, uh, humid morning and isolated drizzle patches and showers and maybe again in the afternoon a downpour or two. On the west coast rain sets in with that northerly wind or nor'wester depending on where you are and it's mild right across the country. Over in Australia the southerly or southeasterly carries on, is starting to ease, the temperatures are going up a little bit and most of the wet weather is being pushed out to sea and a light easterly up there in Queensland. So let's go into the weekend. So on Saturday this continues, the showery southerly turns a bit more easterly as you move into uh, Victoria and up to New South Wales. On the New Zealand side that cold front moves into the North Island so I'm sorry to say but more rain is on the way on Saturday. This front moves in and falls apart. So you can see there are dry areas as well, it's not raining all day long. If you see a rain icon, and you're going to see a lot of rain icons in our weather forecasts over the coming week, go to the Rural Weather website or the Weather Watch site, have a look at how much rain is actually forecast. Because you might notice that a lot of the days only have three or four millimetres. That's a sign of just a few showers, but sometimes the rain icon dominates the forecast and it looks a lot wetter than it really is. But in comes this rain band, so Saturday is another wet day. There will be dry areas too, but the driest weather will be around the South Island. By Sunday, more downpours. So that front's fallen apart, which means in the morning, uh, some showers or drizzle patches are likely, and in the afternoon we might see some heavy downpours, isolated thunderstorms. Now in the South Island, it is a different story because a colder change arrives for you on Sunday because of this high. So the wind flow around it pulls in an easterly, and it's a colder one. Your temperatures do drop, and it's a sort of a miserable day with cloud and showers and drizzle patches for you. Aren't I full of cheer? Now as we go to Monday, again, unsettled around New Zealand to some degree. Now it's not stormy. Uh, someone asked me the other day, what is the difference between, you know, what is settled and unsettled? In my mind, settled is usually when you've got a big high pressure zone over you, or you sort of just don't have a lot of wind and rain around. Now this forecast isn't windy, but we've got these downpours, as you can see, bubbling up. So it's sort of an unsettled forecast for you as we go into the Monday weather setup with low pressure around, and that adds a bit of instability. So you can have morning cloud and drizzle, long dry spells, and then in the afternoon more downpours are coming back in again. Australia mostly dry, but a few showers here on Monday brushing Sydney. As we go into Tuesday, the high pressure zones parked over Tasmania extends all the way up to about Cairns. The weather across most of Australia settled, hot in Adelaide with a nor'easter. But in New Zealand, again, we've still got these downpours bubbling up into the afternoon. So showers in the morning or drizzle patches, um, or, or what we call patchy rain, you know, where it's not necessarily solidly raining all morning everywhere around you. We've got broken rain clouds. That's probably what we're seeing, but again, it, it, it's hard to lock in this sort of stuff too far out. So just generally speaking, a risk of some showers with that cooler southeasterly wind for you on Tuesday. Now our final forecast map here is for Christmas Day. And this shows what I was just saying, basically high pressure, that's it out here over the Chatham Islands, the place to be. But the airflow coming down on the back end of that high is mild weather. So afternoon downpours, possible in Waikato and South Auckland and down in the southern ranges, maybe in the northern parts of the upper South Island and again the very lower part down here around inland parts of Southland. You've got this low pressure zone in front trying to move in so the clouds will likely build on the west coast and a developing wind. This is a long range map, it is definitely not locked in but we're starting to see a pattern forming 
because we've been seeing this for five days now. And over in Australia, your big change, that windy blast doesn't look like it's there as much. It seems to be sinking further down with each update. So that's good news, but it's not locked in. We'll lock it in more in our videos, of course, next week and our final videos for the year. But that is all from me for today. We'll see you again tomorrow with our next update.